Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. We're back. John is doing a blind... You gonna get your notebook off the table? I don't care if it's on there or not. I care. This is fantastic. Stick your nose in there. Fall in love. Yeah. So I get apple cinnamon jelly right off the bat. Some like imitation vanilla. You know, when you buy it, it's not the real extract. Mm -hmm. It smells like that. Similar, but you can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. I get this very, very pleasant, like, dry, slightly sweet wood. It's like the perfect balance of both. And after it opened up, I get, like, caramel dip, like Marzetti. Oh, like the apple dip? Yep, with honey crisp apples. Especially oh. with the skins on it. I can actually smell the skins. You know, like, before you cut it, you smell the apples, like, fresh picked off the orchard, honey crisp. Your That's eyes. what it smells like. Okay. A little honey in there. A little bit of alcohol astringency, but it went away after it sat out and that caramel really opened up. And a slight floral in there too, like maybe an apple blossom. Everything just screams apple to me on this one. You go around sniffing apple blossoms? I've been in apple orchards. When they're blossoming? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Liar. So I'm gonna give the nose a 4.75. It's almost perfect. Slacker. I really want to give it a five, but I have smelt some that's been a little bit better. Now the taste, I, I'm still falling in love with it. I'm getting like dried apples, like those bagged apple cinnamon chips. Hey, I saw those at work. Yeah? Yeah. They're the, yeah, theirs are actually level. pretty good. Yeah. The vanilla. They get like a mouth coating rye, but it's not a spicy rye. It's like rye bread. Not even the toast, just rye bread. I do like raw rye bread, but mm. I do like toast better. A little char in there, and the balance of perfect sweet and dry oak is still there, like on the palate. I almost sloshed out. Yeah, you did. You were real close. Uh, this is absolutely delicious. Please don't slosh that. Just saying. I am going to give it a 9.5. This could become a daily sipper. No? Great. Now the finish, I get rye, vanilla, and apple linger for decently long. This is pretty long finish, and the mouthfeel is just perfect. I'm going to give it a 4.5. It could be a little bit longer and a little bit stronger on the taste, but it is almost perfect. Okay, how about the look? It's With nice. It's pleated glass. It's a oh, little light, hey. but it looks really thick. So the legs form and it just, there's a ton of legs. Color, I don't know, looks like honey. Kind of looks thick like honey too, mm -hmm. with the way it runs. I give it a 2.25. I wish it was a little bit darker. I do like darker whiskeys. Guesses? I know it's a rye. And I mm -hmm. feel like it's a Kentucky rye too, just because it's not super spicy like a rye. So this has to be a lower percentage rye, like in the 50s, maybe 60s. And proof? Anything? 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 It's tough. This is super smooth. I said 90-ish, maybe 100. So with that, I had no guess because I can't remember any rums that we had around there. Rums? Rums. We just did a rum review. I'm sorry. Rise. Rise. <laughs> All rise. Oh. 
wrong in the proof. So this is small batch Willet family Ooh. estate. Um, this is 112.8 proof. Oh, wow. I'm and not usually that far off on the proof. There she be. Yeah. Well, hold on now. How about the bottle? I, it's pin hook esque. Um, when I get a pin hook, I say it's Willet esque. The label is just kind of bland, but kind of cool at the same time. I'm going to give it a uh, two just because you get information on there. and So that's going to bring you to a 92 for that. That's accurate. Without a doubt. Yeah. So this is probably one of the best ryes I think so far that I've had. Yeah. Um, We've had a lot of good ones, but this one's complexity and smoothness and just the way that it intertwines with itself. Mm. That's apple so all the way good. around. Honey crisp too, like the best apples. Yeah. This is just insane. So we um this was a bottle sent to us by Michael. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Um really awesome because this is something we don't get in Michigan. And when we went south twice through Kentucky, yeah. we didn't see any. <laughs> when we went it was down. one of our top bottles we wanted and we yeah. didn't get any. And we didn't find it and we were kind of bummed and then lo and behold michael sent it to us so we were really thankful because we are really excited to try something um else from Willet. we do have the pot still but that's it so um anyway thoughts and processes and what do you know about this well i know that when you opened it you let a gnat in there sure didn't <laughs> wasn't my fault he flew in there uh-huh so I get a little protein with it too? Well, yeah, when you finish the bottle, he gonna be down there waiting for I you. I don't even care. I know. He died happy. Yeah, he did. 92. Do you got the mash bill on them at all? I'm working on it. I know it. Will, it just does not disclose anything. They don't. So, I, I don't, don't ever, know. whenever we do anything with Will, it, I don't even try because they're so freaking lock and key. It's it does ridiculous. say straight rye whiskey. 112.8 proof, which you mentioned, which is 56.4% alcohol. It is age dated at four years and hand bottled at cask strength. Distilled, aged, and bottled by the Willet Distillery. Everything. They do it all. Yeah, they do. At one time, they sourced everything, but I think it was around 2012 they started doing everything themselves. Hmm. This is by far my favorite. I'm blocking my own face. Good. My favorite Willet product. I've tried like Bardstown, Noah's Mill, mm -hmm. Rollins Creek. None of them match up to this. I This one is just so... Corner I... Creek, I can see the resemblance in there. Uh, Corner Creek was distilled by them for a while back when I loved it. And it was normal, not tenure. But it wasn't a rye. It did have rye. It was a corn, wheat, and rye bourbon. It gives that same mouthfeel. They, their stills must do a certain... Something. Thickness to them because... Okay, so they think that it's a blend of two mash bills. One being 74% rye and the other being 51% rye. So it's probably But of course, 60. it is not really disclosed. Yeah. So don't even go into any information on it then because it wouldn't be completely accurate. It was introduced in 2008. That's about all I got. Yeah. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, it is a higher corn rye, but it is just perfect. I see why people rave about it. Yeah. And it's I see not, why what people drop it? hundreds on the higher age too because... I can see these being the best. Well, it knows what they're doing. They know how to keep I, secrets, but they know what they're doing. Their bourbons just aren't my favorite. They're okay. All of them are just okay to me. Uh, the Willow Pot still is okay. People give a lot of hate for that, but I don't see that. It's, I don't see. I don't hate it. Noah's Mill was okay. Rollins Creek was pretty good. Um, old Bardstown Bottle and Bond was good. What was the one that Michael sent us? I blinded you on it. 
Johnny Drum. Yep, that one. That's by Willet. That one's pretty good, too. But they all have, like, a unique signature, but this one sets itself apart. This one is just completely different from anything we've yeah. ever had, so... Definitely hits its own little mark point, but... The best rye? That's tough to say. I think with more age it would be. Mm -hmm. But it's in the top two, because Rare Breed, I think, is my favorite rye. Yeah, you like higher That's stuff. That's six to eight years, I think. I like this because it doesn't drink like it, it like the proof that it is. It doesn't drink like 112 no, it proof. Doesn't. It drinks a lot smoother than that, so it's kind of nice when you get a bitey rye that drinks smooth. Yeah. But anything else? There you have it. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.